So today I wanted to talk about uh, doing a restoration of the asphalt in front of my hangar. And we're going to be cleaning, getting rid of the grass, patching, filling cracks, sealing, and then decorating. So it's going to be a three-part video. As you can see from this video, the asphalt that's in front of my hangar is in terrible shape. Uh, grass growing up through it, cracks everywhere. Um, actually, the grass from the sides has overgrown into the asphalt a foot in many areas, two feet in some areas. Uh, so I need to uh, push the grass back, get the grass out. I hate having to mow my asphalt. Um, and then I want to get all the cracks filled get it all sealed, and then we're going to do a little decorating. So this is going to be uh, three parts, this little renovation work. Um, and the first part, we're going to do the cleaning and uh, filling in all the cracks. And so I wanted to kind of go through the steps that I've taken. Uh, so as you can see, there's oil stains, there's grass, there's cracks all over the place with grass coming up through. So the first thing I was doing was uh, cleaning and pushing the grass back. So this ended up being a huge project um, because the grass is so well established that uh, pushing it back uh, was a lot of work. Uh, I did a lot of pressure, pressure uh, washing to push it back and uh, edging and weed eating and then going back and pressure washing and just back and forth. Uh, I also used a degreaser I'll show in a minute um, to uh, clean off the oil spots and uh, help me along with that. So after I weed eated and pressure washed and everything, I still had a lot of grass, dead grass in the cracks that I couldn't get out with my weed eater. Uh, so I decided to go buy this uh, propane torch. I uh, got it at Harbor Freight. It was $37.99. Um, and you'll see it in action here. It's a pretty substantial, it puts out 340,000 BTUs. Uh, and I'm just trying to burn out the grass that's in all the cracks. It's just these huge, thick, um, roots uh, that I just couldn't get my weed eater to kill. Uh, you can hear from that video, the torch is it's loud. Uh, it sounds in person. It sounds like a jet with afterburners taking off. It's uh, I, I, all my neighbors were walking by looking at what I was doing. Um, obviously, if you go this route, you need to take all the safety precautions. You need to have a hose by, standing by in case you catch something on fire. Uh, read the instructions. Uh, it, just be very, very careful. This thing puts out a lot of heat. Uh, you can sort of see it, but it's uh, it's a lot of heat. And uh, it, it did work. Um, it burned up a lot of the roots and the organic matter and got it out of there. I had killed it with uh, some weed killer probably three weeks ago. Um, but even when I hit it with my weed eater, it just I couldn't get those roots that were left to come out. So after I burned them uh, with this torch... Uh, they were much more, uh, they brittle, they just sort of broke apart. And I was able to either hit them with a weed eater or just pick them out with my hands as I was moving on with my project. So this tool is pretty fun to use. Uh, it was definitely easier than pressure washing and weed eating. Um, the, that Tim Allen show uh, where he, he was the uh, tool guy, uh, definitely he would get some grunts and laughs out of this one. Uh, it, it worked effectively and it was fun. It goes through propane like nobody's business. So after I finished all the cleaning, uh, I realized that my asphalt is even worse than I originally projected. Um, I had ordered some asphalt patch, a couple of buckets of it from Home Depot. And after I, I sort of saw my asphalt, I realized I was going to need a lot more than that. Uh, just a lot more square feet. So this is the product I'm using. It's called Aquafault. And it's a, kind of a neat product because it's water activated. It, it, it uses water uh, to activate the hardener properties of this product. 
Uh, some of the other properties of the, the other competing products, which are much cheaper than this one, uh, take as long as six months to uh, cure. So you can't seal the asphalt for anywhere from 90 days to six months, depending on which product you buy. I wanted to get this project done. So this product you can actually seal over 24 hours after you get it set. Um, it, the downside is it's expensive. It's $55 uh, for a barrel for a 3.5 gallon. It's a 50 pound bucket. So uh, it's a it's a good product. I, it goes down really well. You can kind of see it. It kind of settles into the crack. It's uh, kind of got a liquidy, weird, I don't know. It's, it's kind of a strange, if you look at it, how it sort of uh, drops in to the crack. So you, you spread it out. And then you, you spray it with water. And if you have a really deep hole, you do it in two layers. Um, because of the crack was too skinny for my tamper, uh, you can see I used, a, I used just a, a, a two before, basically as a furring strip. It was a little thinner. Um, I also used my truck to compact these bigger ones, which is actually in the instructions that you can do that. Um, the tires, it didn't stick to the tire at all. I was worried the first time I did that, but it worked quite well on the big potholes to kind of really get it pushed in and tamp it down really well. Um, my tamper was actually too big for my cracks. Um, now here, as I was out taking some video, one of my neighbors flew by, taxied by. So for the small cracks, I used this Blackjack Speed Fill. And, and I actually got this at Lowe's. Uh, they had a lot of it on hand. Uh, and it comes in a gallon can with a little pour spout that it's kind of like a caulk gun. You, you, uh, you pull the spout out of the inside of it and you cut it like a caulk gun. And then, uh, and then you, just, you just pour it out into your cracks. Um, after I poured it out, I sort of hit it with a, a cheap disposable spackling uh, just to kind of uh, flatten it out so it didn't look so obvious. It wasn't rounded over on the top when I put my seal coat on so you can't see exactly where every single crack was. I'm not sure how effective that's going to be, but it's a step I added to the process. Um, I got five gallons of this to start with, and I'm probably going to need a couple of more. Uh, so the, the product says it'll work into up to a three-quarter inch a hole or crack, I should say, um, and and I would stick to that pretty good. Anything bigger than three quarters, you should use the the asphalt patch uh, because this stuff just cracks and kind of falls apart if you put it in too big of a hole, uh, as I've noticed. Because I I did a few that were a little bigger than probably was proper for this product, and you can see here where I kind of tried to spread it out a little bit with the spackling. Uh, just so it didn't have that rounded over look. Uh, here's some video just of the uh, afterwards. Um, it, it, it's the idea I'm going to seal coat over it. So hopefully it'll blend in with the seal coat and you won't see every single crack. Although I'm not sure that's going to happen. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. Uh, if you like what I'm putting out, you know, like and subscribe. It's, it's helpful to the channel. And comment, let me know what you think, uh, anything I did wrong. I'm an amateur on all this, so uh, I'd like to hear what everybody says. Thanks again and have a good day.